Today, I'm about to blow your mind. In this video, we're diving deep into setting up the brand new WinLater 9, the ultimate game changer for Android users. Never heard of it? Let me fill you in. WinLater is a next-level Windows emulator that lets you run your favorite PC software and games straight on your Android device. Yeah, you heard that right. Your phone is about to become a full-blown gaming rig. And guess what? WinLater 9 just dropped, bringing incredible new features like the Vortec graphics driver. Now you cab install components, force full-screen mode, and an updated Box 64, making it smoother, faster, and more powerful than ever. Let's go over the minimum system requirements you'll need to run WinLater on your device. Ensure you're on Android 10 or higher, have at least 6 gigabytes of RAM, and around 8 gigabytes of recommended storage space for system files. A Snapdragon chipset works best, but Mali and other chipsets are also supported. Now let's dive into the installation process. To begin, head to the WinLater download page. Just search on Google or you'll find the link in the description. On the GitHub page, scroll down until you can download WinLater. The latest version, WinLater 9, is about 190 megabytes in size. Since it's a small APK, it should take only one to two minutes to download. Once the download is complete, install the app. You might see a warning from Google Play Protect about the app being built with an older Android version, but rest assured, it's safe to install. After installation, launch the WinLater emulator. You'll first need to grant the app permission to access your phone storage. Unlike previous versions where we had to manually download the OBB file, WinLater 9 now automatically downloads it. This file contains all the necessary components to run the app and will take about two minutes to download, depending on your internet speed. Go to Settings. Set Preferred Input API to both for broader compatibility. Choose the Box 64 version to suit your needs. You can also install components for other Box 64 versions. For stability, I'll select Box 64.3.1 as it's the most stable version currently available. If you're emulating older 32-bit titles, it's recommended to use Box 64 0.2.0. Set the Box 64 version to Performance to maximize efficiency. Create a custom performance preset. Set the DinoSafe flag's value to 0 for improved stability and smoother performance. Use Wine 9.2, as it is currently the best stable version available. Next, you'll be prompted to create a container. Click the plus icon at the top right corner to begin configuration. Start by giving your container a name and selecting the screen size. I'm choosing 1280 by 720, but you can go up to 1080p. For the best performance, I recommend using your device's native screen resolution. If you notice any lag or trouble booting, you can lower the resolution in the settings. Moving on to the graphics driver, there are two options available, Turnip and Virtual GL and Vortec, which is newly added and is an experiment. If you're using a Snapdragon chipset, choose Turnip for better performance. For the DX wrapper, you can select DXVK or your preferred version. Similarly, you can download other version components as needed. One of the big improvements in WinLater 9 is the resolution of audio latency issues. You can now adjust the volume as well as the latency to suit your preferences. Additionally, you can enable the FPS counter if you want to track your performance during gameplay. Another exciting feature in this update is the ability to switch between light and dark themes, customize the background color, and even upload your own custom backgrounds. DPI settings, which represent font size, can also be adjusted. I recommend setting it to 120 DPI. Here GPU name is GPU profile set to GTX 1070 or higher. You can allocate up to 4 GB of RAM. If you're unsure, sticking with the default settings is a safe bet. In the advanced settings, set the startup selection to Aggressive for better performance. Choose Windows version 7 for older titles, but Windows 10 is recommended for most cases. Enable all CPU cores for optimal performance and save the container settings. Once everything is configured, click the check mark to create your container. You'll now see the container listed on the home screen. Before booting it, let's fine tune the controls. Open the input settings by clicking the three lines in the top left corner. WinLater 9 comes with multiple control layouts, but my personal favorite is the template 12 buttons. The customization options are incredible. You can easily adjust the controls, add or remove buttons, resize or relocate them. While the default layout works great for most users, I like to add a trackpad for smoother navigation. 
Honestly, WinLater gets a solid 10 out of 10 for its unmatched control customization features. Now return to the home screen and tap the Run button. Congratulations, you've successfully booted Windows on your Android device using WinLater. I'll be making a complete tutorial on installing cams and setting up Windows on low-end devices. Stay tuned for more.